guys, welcome to Books and Blue Stockings. I'm Betty Bookworm, and have I told you how much I love Sarah Addison Allen? The book of the month for May is The Girl Who Chased the Moon by, you guessed it, Sarah Addison Allen. The book is perfect for this time of year for several reasons. One reason is that Sarah Addison Allen is perfect and can do no wrong. Another reason is that the book takes place in the middle of a sultry summer and is a great read as the days get warmer. But the best reason, in my opinion, is that it is the perfect book to read for Mother's Day. Or rather, Mother's Day month. Because this video is getting posted after Mother's Day. <laughs> Sorry about that. The book follows the stories of Emily Benedict and Julia Winterson. Emily is a teenage girl who has moved to a small town in North Carolina. She lives with her grandfather, who has the reputation around town for being a literal giant, in a house where the wallpaper seems to change with her mood. She hopes the town will teach her more about the life of her influential mother. She learns that her mother was involved in a scandal that may be linked to a strange glowing light that is always dancing around the woods behind her house. Meanwhile, Julia Winterson, a woman renowned for her almost magical cakes, is dealing with the passing of her father, her nasty gold-digging stepmother, and a lover's return with whom she has a tumultuous past. Alan's writing ranges from mysterious, everything was quiet, a strange sort of quiet that felt like an unfinished sentence. Too heartbreaking. Living down your own past was hard enough. You shouldn't have to live down someone else's. To downright empowering. It took me a long time to realize this. We get to choose what defines us. This book is a wonderful tale of intrigue and redemption, and I recommend it for mothers and their adult children to read together. I also recommend it for anyone who feels like they have to reconcile for their past or the past deeds of others. Have you read the book? Do you want to read the book? What did you think about the book? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. I'm Betty Bookworm, and I love you, Mom.